Hello everyone, I know there's a lot to talk about right now from the Ram Mandir to Sushant Singh Rajput and Rhea Chakrabarti and of course China. You can stop talking about China but today I am going to come back one more time to coronavirus and the reason for that obviously sometime tonight India is going to cross the 2 million total cases mark and that's a significant uh, landmark to hit. Also total number of active cases have crossed 6 hundred thousand and that's that's obviously a source of some concern and the overall numbers obviously is something that we should worry about now of course it can also be said that per capita numbers in india are still not that high but in absolute terms india now the third country to cross the two million mark the other thing that we should be concerned about is this sort of a figure put up from the washington post which is showing you that in the last one week or so in terms of total number of coronavirus cases, India has actually added more cases than any other country on the planet. Yes, India has got the largest population, but that's not really the number that you want to see. Total number of cases actually more than the USA or Brazil, according to this Washington Post uh, graphic. Now, having said all of that, there is one piece of really good news though that I want to draw your attention to. So with the bad, there's often good, that's the way life is. And that's this. These are the figures for increases in active cases for the last five or six days. Now look at that. Active cases, this is Parag Card's statistics which you can see there. Active cases were growing at 15,000, 18,000, 20,000 a day. And now suddenly the last four or five days, the growth of active cases has come down. 3,000, 11,000, 6,600, a drop actually in active cases and then 10,000. Why is this happening? This is happening because recoveries are consistently looking good. Recoveries are now at about 45 to 50,000 a day. And that means if your actual number of cases is not rising too fast, your, your active cases are not going as fast as they should. And this brings me to this very important graphic from Shanika Ravi, where having plateaued for a very long period of time, the growth rate of active cases has now gone down the last four or five days. Watch this graphic. This is perhaps the single most important curve we should track. What is the growth rate of active cases? If this slide we are seeing the last four or five days can be maintained, India can celebrate because that means India as a whole could end up being in the same sort of a path that Delhi has been on. But yes, there's been a large number of overall cases, but active cases have started to drop and eventually uh, completely in, under some sort of control. If that happens, we can start heaving a huge sigh of relief. So that's the coronavirus update for you. Now all those stories, including those other subjects that I did mention. India logged more than 20 lakh coronavirus cases on Thursday evening, taking the countrywide figure to 20 lakh 6,760 cases. India is now behind Brazil, which has more than 28 lakh cases, and the United States, which is leading the list of nations hit worst by the pandemic with close to 50 lakh cases. This morning, Health Ministry data showed that the country has added more than 56,000 cases, taking the total to 19.65 lakh. A total of 13 lakh patients have recovered so far, with over 40,000 dead. The trial conducted by All India Institute of Medical Sciences for convalescent plasma therapy on COVID-19 patients has not shown much clinical benefit in reducing fatality risk caused due to the virus. Dr. Randeep Guleria, director of AIMS, said more evidence is needed to conclude anything. Current evidence suggests that the convalescent plasma is safe, does not cause any harm to a patient, but at the same time, it is not very effective and hence should be used prudently. Doctors involved with the trial say convalescent plasma is not a magic bullet. While there may be a certain set of patients who benefited from it, a lot of work still has to be done. The institute completed a randomized controlled trial to assess the efficacy of plasma therapy recently with two groups of 15 COVID-19 patients.
Assam has crossed 50,000 coronavirus cases. With 2,284 new cases on Wednesday, Assam has logged 50,445 cases so far. Over 14,000 cases are active in the state, while more than 35,000 patients have been discharged after recovering from the virus. Till now, there have been 121 deaths in the state. Assam has done over 11 lakh COVID tests. The state's recovery rate is 71%. The number of individuals in home quarantine in Mumbai has fallen by 28% in the last month as the coronavirus curve plateaus in the city. The number of people in institutional quarantine has also dropped by 62% in the same duration in some more respite to Mumbai's residents. According to a Hindustan Times report, the BMC has directed ward officers to shut unoccupied COVID care centres given over 90% of them are lying vacant. At the moment, many coronavirus cases are surfacing from residential complexes and the civic agency is concentrating on home quarantine for the city's residents. In total, BMC has 72,656 beds in CCC facilities, out of which nearly 6,065 beds are presently being used. India has reportedly snubbed China's demand for moving back forces in Ladakh. India firmly told China that it will not move back any further in the region along Pangong Lake as military commanders of the two sides continue discussions on disengagement in eastern Ladakh, report said. In the last meeting, India rebuffed China's demands that its troops vacate a critical post to facilitate further disengagement. China wanted India to remove a critical post called Dhan Singh Thapa post located on Finger 3 for Chinese forces to move back. But India has refused to do so since the post on Finger 3 is within Indian territory. With heavy rain crippling Mumbai, the city has been put on red alert after receiving the highest rainfall of the season within 12 hours on Wednesday. In a dramatic video shared online, a portion of a house was seen collapsing in Dadar after the downpour, but fortunately no casualties have been reported. Police, ward staff and ambulance have reached the spot for rescue. Scores of vehicles are stranded on the road in various parts of Mumbai due to severe water logging. In a new development that has emerged in Sushant Singh Rajput's death case, call detailed records show his girlfriend Rhea Chakrabarti had blocked the actor's phone number on June 8th. As per the call records, there was no conversation between Sushant and Rhea from June 8th till the 14th, the day Sushant was found dead in his Bandra house. The report further states that Sushant did call his sisters on June 8th but did not call anyone after that day.